In Washington today, members of Congress held their first Saturday hearing in the impeachment inquiry into President Trump. State Department official Philip Reeker is the 10th person to testify in closed session. Reeker was expected to be asked about President Trump's dealings with Ukraine and how the State Department responded. Ben Tracy is at the White House. Ambassador Reeker arrived on Capitol Hill today, subpoenaed to testify by Democrats who want to find out what he knows about efforts to pressure Ukraine into investigating President Trump's political rival Joe Biden and his son Hunter. I had a perfect conversation with the president of Ukraine. Perfect. Democrats are trying to prove President Trump withheld nearly $400 million in military aid from Ukraine to further his own political goals. Other witnesses have testified that Mr. Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, was running a shadow foreign policy in Ukraine and used a smear campaign to push out the American ambassador there, Marie Yovanovitch. In an email, Reeker, who oversaw Ukraine policy, alerted top State Department officials that critics of Yovanovitch were pushing a fake narrative that really is without merit or validation. Democrats want to know how Secretary of State Mike Pompeo responded to Reeker's concerns. You see what's going on with the witch hunt? It's a terrible thing that's going on in our country. President Trump continues to dismiss the impeachment inquiry as illegitimate. But Friday, a federal judge ruled the inquiry is lawful and ordered the Justice Department to turn over secret grand jury material from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation to Congress. Chief Judge Beryl Howe put to rest yesterday any claim that we are not in an impeachment inquiry. We most emphatically are in an impeachment inquiry. Democrats have subpoenaed three more administration officials to testify before Congress. And CBS News has learned that attorneys for former National Security Advisor John Bolton are talking with lawmakers about his potential testimony. Meanwhile, the White House is scrambling to assemble an impeachment communications team, even though the president doesn't quite see the need. Here's the thing. I don't have teams. Everyone's talking about teams. I'm the team. I did nothing wrong. Uh, ben, you mentioned in your piece that a federal judge has now ruled the impeachment inquiry is legal. So is the White House now cooperating with Congress? No, they are not. So far, the White House has had no response to this ruling, and they are still advising administration officials to ignore Congress's request for them to testify. Now, one of those officials is the former Deputy National Security Advisor, Charles Kupperman. He is now asking a judge to decide whether or not he obeys Congress or the White House. Glad All right, Ben Tracy at the White House for us. Ben, thank you.